So this stone mine also produces kerogen. I don't really know what it is. Somewhere between wood and oil. Ah, yes, now you say meow. But I guess I would have understood anyway. Everyone who watches. Come on, alien. How come you sound like you're from the north? Lots of planets have a north. Everyone who watches Nico Lina's streams is a cat, I guess. Or at least. Not very much against cats. Still need a lot of copper to make these collectors. Good luck with the rice. This will still take quite a lot of time. I should always queue up some crafting and never have my crafting bar not doing anything. And this can also have some more miners. This is out of coal, but I'm also out of coal, so that's nice. I guess I can prepare this already. So it can come together at some point. There's coal in that stone. I guess the other stones are without coal. I want to just use a blueprint at the moment. But I can also make a lot more belts in the meantime. Then I can at least make these ghosts real at some point. It's nice how they have used a ghost icon for when you place a ghost above the number. I think one problem that I have is that I have chosen the big map and a big starting area. This makes everything very much apart from each other, so I have to run a lot. I suck up coal. 
just like certain coal companies. Maybe I should already start the smelting of stone. So this will be stone bricks, which I need for certain recipes. The good thing in Factorio is you can run and craft at the same time. Opening menus and doing things in menus doesn't stop you from doing some useful stuff as well. We are missing. No, not anymore. And now I should have provided all my basic resources with coal. Although I can also use the coal that I have transported here. There are some more inserters being made, so I have to wait a few seconds for that. While that's crafting, I can kill some trees. Coal still hasn't arrived. It's coming there. Now I have some more inserters. I guess I could have just filled these machines with my own coal. I think I will use wooden chests, since wood can regenerate, I guess. You can expand this crafting queue to see everything that's being crafted, or I guess more than usual. I can pre-craft some of these air core inductors. They are used in certain machines. And of course, a lot of bolts. I guess I will need a lot of these small parts, and they use a lot of bolts. So you will hear a lot of these crafting sounds. Wherever I go, I still can't make this, um, I need another soil extractor. What's so special about that? Not sure. I guess I will need more copper. And the furnaces are now out of coal.
I guess I will provide those furnaces with coal manually at the moment. I might do some weird loop around this so that the coal does reach the furnaces as well as the miners from all sides. So now I can look at these stone bricks. I needed that for something, I guess for these planter boxes. I could remove some of these bolt craftings. How many of these can I make? None yet. I need... I need this collector. And for that I probably need more copper. I only have four copper in my inventory and they might get used. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. I have to see whether I have still four copper after this is crafted, I guess so. So whenever I press craft, I immediately use up the, uh, the item there. And if I were to cancel the crafting, then I would be refunded with that item. That can sometimes lead to the inventory being overfilled and spilling everywhere. Which I will not demonstrate now. At least those long walking breaks are good to hydrate. I hope you all stay hydrated. Okay, now I can make a lot of these collectors. This has a lot of prerequisites. Yeah, if you don't hydrate, you will dehydrate at some point. That's not good. That needs to be prevented. And I can build some of these labs. Maybe one lab would be good enough for now. Normally I wouldn't build it that way, but I don't have splitters yet. They would automatically send stuff one way or the other. I hope you like the basic Factorio music in the background. Hope you can hear it alright. I might build some more miners. Okay, this should work now. 
This might provide a little bit more coal, but I guess it's already quite full. I need to provide more stone. This chest is already full. Now that I have wooden chests, I could also just use the wooden chests. Um, and now I'm full of stuff. So I guess I will have to make a temp chest. And I could make more furnaces. They use stone, so I have less stone in my inventory. Square of stone furnaces. I might also just provide at least the upper ones with some coal. So this chest has, I guess, 16 slots and the iron chest has 32. I guess I can just put everything up. So I have 233 stone bricks, that should be good. I don't know how many of these collectors I will need. They are basically areas, and in these areas there are some robots flying around, at least when this has power. And then I can get these, this bio reserve out of there, or also called native flora. Guess I will need more power poles. This is a clicker game now. Because I don't want to click on the make everything button. I forgot that I had to go up. Otherwise I would have gone to the west forever. I think this soil extractor extracts very much soil and the inserter there can't keep up. I did want to build this other steam engine to allow more power to be generated. And I didn't yet provide any chests to the bio reserve collector. Okay, there's uh, an output. And now these robots are collecting bio reserves. Very nice plants. Lots of variety. And I can also pick it up. I guess when they are in my inventory they have only one icon. So where will I put this stuff? I guess I could also just put a chest there. For now. basically need to make these flower pots. Um, 
those ones. Automation science pack needs 10 native flora. And I need to make this stuff. Planter box. Okay, I didn't pick this up again. Now I can make this... And that's my basic research. If I find the lab, the lab looks weird and big. Okay, this lab can basically take all the sciences that are allowed in this mod pack. Lots of different orange pie sciences. And then in between the basic sciences from the Factorio game, just with different icons. I will put those things in there and I need to start a research. I would start with basic automation. And maybe I should continue with coal processing. And maybe steel. I don't know what soil washing can give me. Maybe I should do that soon as well. So now there's already a lot of stuff that I don't yet know. I don't really need the gun turret since I'm playing without enemies. I don't need these walls for now. So soil washing is next. Maybe mining with fluid is important. Because I might need tin plates for certain items and tin ore is mined with a fluid. I guess it's steam that I need. So this is molybdenum, zinc, oil sand and this is tin ore. I need to find a way to to make iron plates go on a belt basically. I have some ideas. But also this doesn't solve the problem of um, ash being put onto or staying in these machines forever. And I have to take it out manually, I think. Clicking on the machines and then shift clicking on these icons. Or I have to set up this mining differently. At least I can walk over this collection area. It has no collision box. And even these border markers are flowing uh, or floating. Now all the furnaces are out of coal. I guess I will have to rebuild this soon. Or maybe now. I 
I will make some more of those inserters. So that's what I meant. A little loop. So I can provide all the sides of this mess with some coal. I'll try to make it look a little bit symmetric, although this loop now makes it look anti-symmetric. I still have to collect all the iron manually. I guess that's okay for some time. I can save two belts by doing this. And this mining makes weird sounds. Which is okay, I guess. Need to make more of this automation science. 